What's up guys? In this episode I'll be featuring a rare lobby card set on Bruce Lee and it's coming right up. What's up guys? Charles Damiano back from the Bruce Lee Collection for another exciting episode of Bruce Lee Show and Tell. In this episode, what I'll be featuring is a set of Bruce Lee Game of Death rare lobby cards that I discovered the other day as I was rummaging through my Bruce Lee Collection. And I really love lobby cards. Now, lobby cards were place in the movie theaters, for those of you who don't know, back in the early 70s and 80s, and they were 11 by 14 prints. They usually came in sets of eight, and it showed you all the pictures of what the movie was going to be about in a picture fashion, and it was usually displayed next to the beautiful uh, movie poster, the one sheets that they put in front of the movie theaters back in the early 70s. And I just stumbled across these beautiful Game of Death lobby cards from France put out by Rene Chateau uh, on the Game of Death. Now the Game of Death wasn't one of my favorite movies. I don't know if it was one of your favorite movies and by the way let me know what your favorite movie is. My question for you is what was your favorite Bruce Lee movie? I can tell you Mine was Enter the Dragon with a close second of Chinese Connection. I just love those two movies. Uh, but Game of Death was probably my least favorite movie. It was really chopped apart. I don't think they did a great job when it came out in 1978. Uh, it was kind of a little bit tacky, to be honest with you, in my opinion. If you really want to get a true idea of what the game of death was supposed to be like, pick up John Little's A Warrior's Journey, where he found uh, over 60 minutes of the original footage of Game of Death where Bruce fights Danny Asanto, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the Hapkido guy, and uh, there was about 90 minutes of footage that he discovered uh, in the vaults of Golden Harvest, and he was able to put it into a beautiful documentary on the game of death and what the whole storyline was supposed to be about. And to me, if you're gonna watch the game of death, watch that movie. It's just simply incredible. Why continue? Just let me pass. You have forgotten that I too am not afraid of death. But in any case, I wanted to flip through these beautiful lobby cards with you. And as you guys know, I love vintage stuff. And these lobby cards look really vintage. They probably came out uh, in the late 70s. And again, this is of the game of death, so not every image depicts Bruce Lee uh, because they had a double that played Bruce Lee at the time. And as you can see here, this is a guy who is supposed to look like Bruce Lee. And if you noticed in the game of death, most of the time, you didn't really see very close up images of the person who was playing Bruce Lee. And he was either in a disguise or his back was facing, his face was facing away from the camera and they were filming from the backside of him. And here he is with glasses on, a beard and mustache. Uh, throwing a sidekick, but if you just look at the lobby cards, the lobby cards are really, really beautiful. They're very vintage looking. I love the scene here of Bruce from Game of Death, and here he is with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And again, these were put out by France back in the late 70s by Rene Chateau, who was a famous uh, uh, collector at the time who put out some great memorabilia on Bruce Lee. He has a few books that came out on him, which I'll feature in, in another episode. And a lot of great items came out of uh, uh, France at the time. So here's one of the lobby cards uh, that I want to show you guys. Now these are a little smaller than the traditional lobby cards, which are generally, like I said, 11 by 14. These come in somewhere about 8 
by 13, 8 by 12, so a little smaller than the traditional lobby cards, but beautiful nonetheless. Uh, here's another scene from Game of Death. Again, they had that big motorcycle scene in it, trying to kind of add some excitement to the movie. Uh, but again, not a very good movie in my eyes. And there's supposed to be Bruce on the motorcycle. Here he is again, another scene where Bruce enters the pagoda and he's uh, battling against one of the mobsters. And here he is again, this is the double uh, played uh, who was playing Bruce Lee doing a backflip. And here is Bob Wall in the scene where Bob Wall fights Sammo Hung in the ring. Uh, and again, it was another scene in the original Game of Death. And now you get to the real Bruce Lee, and this is where the lobby cards really start coming to life. And here is a great scene of Bruce doing uh, his uh, round kick to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who, by the way, was 7'2", Bruce was 5'7", and he gets his foot uh, right to the chin of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, showing you the flexibility and skill set that Bruce uh, 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 possessed. So, great image. Love it. The vintage look and feel of this card. As you flip through, another great image of Bruce Lee uh, entering the pagoda with his two sidekicks uh, ready to face off uh, probably uh, the uh, Hapkido guy. Uh, so, again, Bruce in his famous iconic yellow tracksuit, which in my eyes is what made the whole film to see Bruce come out in the yellow tracksuit, which kind of symbolized no style, which was the whole philosophy behind his Jeet Kune Do, right? He wanted to uh, uh, practice the art of fighting without fighting, not really being bound by one style. So he felt wearing a, a yellow tracksuit and not a traditional Kung Fu outfit or karate outfit, which he was really not for tradition and felt you should fight outside of uh, the confined boxes of tradition. He represented himself in the yellow tracksuit, which I just love and became a very iconic jumpsuit. Here he is, uh, again, played by Dan and Santo, where they go through their famous nunchuck scene. And just look at the color on this. The red nunchucks, the red uh, headband, Bruce in the yellow and the yellow nunchucks. Man, just using colors like that, so vibrant, added a lot of excitement uh, to uh, the fight scenes in the game of death. And here Bruce is in one of his uh, famous poses. Here he is with the nunchucks, kind of having some fun with Danny and Asanto, mocking him with one of his looks. As you can see here, I just love this photo of Bruce Lee. And again, here he is with the uh, yellow nunchucks. And uh, he was just amazing. And the speed that he displayed these nunchucks at the time was just simply incredible. And that was uh, Bruce being the perfectionist that he was. And if you uh, remember on uh, Warrior's Journey, there were a lot of outtakes. And it just shows you how many outtakes there was to get that nunchuck scene correct. So a lot of mishaps, a lot of times he missed the nunchuck, but he didn't stop until he got the scene perfect. And that's why it's such an amazing scene. Now, when you look back and you watch the uh, nunchuck fight scene with Danny Nassanto and Bruce Lee, Another nice picture of Bruce from the Game of Death. I'm sure you guys have seen this one before. Again, these are just beautiful, beautiful lobby cards. Uh, and here he is uh, on one knee. Uh, he just probably was fighting Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and uh, getting up to complete the battle that he had with him in Game of Death. And again, just a beautiful, beautiful lobby card. Again, let me know if you guys have these in your collection. Uh, put out by Rene Chateau, French lobby cards. Uh, I have 11 
I'm not sure how many are in the set. Normally they're either eight to the traditional lobby cards. This may have been a set of 12. I don't know if they would have made 11, so I might be missing one of the lobby cards. If any of you guys know, please let me know, and I'd love to find out what the missing lobby card is in this set, because they're really a beautiful, beautiful set. And again, that's the end of the uh, lobby card set, and then again, here it is right from the beginning. But <clears throat> again, these are just incredible lobby cards. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode on these beautiful vintage lobby cards. I uh, believe they came out in the late 70s, maybe early 80s. I couldn't find a date uh, on the lobby cards. But now if you liked the episode, and I know that you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss another video. And once again, Charles Damiano from the Bruce Lee Collection signing out saying, have fun collecting.